Yo, 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 it's your boy Block. Make sure you like and subscribe for our latest FIFA Collect and World Cup ticket news. So today I'm walking you through how to make deposits and withdrawals on FIFA Collect. Uh, so as you might know, FIFA Collect just recently switched over from the Algorand network and they're now using the Avalanche network. So the process to make deposits and withdrawals changed just a little bit and I'm gonna walk you through how to do that. There's actually two different ways to make deposits and withdrawals. Uh, one way is a little bit easier. Um, and then the other way is a little bit more complicated where we're going to set up an EVM compatible wallet like MetaMask. Um, but I'm going to walk you guys through both of those. So let's start with the easier process first. Let's take a look. So we're going to start at a cryptocurrency exchange. For this tutorial, I'm using Coinbase. But if you're using like Binance or Kraken, don't sweat it uh, because the process is going to be very similar. So we're going to be purchasing a USDC. USDC is a stable coin, which means one USDC is equivalent to about one US dollar. So go into Coinbase, search USDC, and then purchase as much as your asset costs on FIFA Collect. Be aware it's fairly common um, if you purchase with a bank account that there might be a, a hold on your funds. This is typically like five days. Whereas if you purchase with credit card, your funds will be available immediately. After you get that all squared away, head over to FIFA Collect, click on your profile in the top right corner, and then you can click on my profile, scroll down just a little bit, and you'll actually see an address for your account. Go ahead and copy that. Head back over to your cryptocurrency exchange, click transfer, and then click send crypto. You'll then paste the address that we just copied from FIFA Collect. This next step is absolutely crucial. When it asks you which network you want to send on, you have to choose the Avalanche network. If you don't, your funds will most likely be lost and unrecoverable. It's always a good idea to send a small test transaction of just a dollar or two first, just to make sure everything goes through properly and our funds arrive at our FIFA Collect account. Within a minute or two, you should see your funds arrive in your FIFA Collect account under My Wallet. Next, I'm going to show you how to make a withdrawal. So go to your cryptocurrency exchange, click transfer. This time, click receive crypto. And again, the cryptocurrency exchange is going to ask you which network to use. It is absolutely crucial that you choose the Avalanche network. With that address copied, head back over to FIFA Collect, click on your account, click on my wallet, and then you're going to click cash out. Here you can paste the address and then send. It's a good idea to send a small transaction first just to make sure everything goes through properly. Within a minute or two, you should see the funds leave your FIFA Collect wallet and show up in your cryptocurrency exchange wallet. Congrats, making a withdrawal and a deposit is as simple as that. So there is a second method, uh, which involves creating an EVM compatible wallet. So let's take a look at that one. So navigate back over to FIFA Collect, select my wallet, and then under your wallet, you'll see, you'll see that there's an add balance option. Once you select that, you'll see USDC. You can select that, scroll down a little bit, and then the first choice is MetaMask. This is a cryptocurrency wallet. So you'll go to the app store and download this wallet. I'm not going to walk through the setup process, um, but carefully follow each step that it gives you. And then once you're done with the setup, you should get a screen that looks like this. In the top left corner, you'll see a small icon. Click that and then select the Avalanche network. You'll see the icon change in the top left corner. So we're going to need to fund this wallet with Avalanche. And the only reason we do this is to cover transaction fees. This is not what we're actually using to make our purchase. We're still going to be making our purchase in USDC. So we have two options here. You can either purchase Avalanche directly through MetaMask, or you can receive from a cryptocurrency exchange like Coinbase, Kraken, or Binance. Either way you fund this wallet, $5 worth of Avalanche should be plenty to cover transaction fees. After you've received the $5 in Avalanche, 
Then to the exact same address, you can send USDC using the Avalanche network. Very important that you use the Avalanche network, otherwise your funds may be lost. At this point, your MetaMask wallet should have both Avalanche and USDC. Avalanche to cover transaction fees and USDC to make your actual purchase. Head back over to FIFA Collect. Next to MetaMask, click Connect. Make sure your MetaMask is pinned on Chrome and then you should be prompted to connect and that should be it. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and I hope to see you at the 2026 FIFA World Cup. Peace.